Go to 64 here. So I'm the developer of a game called Mega Factory. The game is still in development, but I have released a playable demo of the current alpha build of the game. And today I would like to show you some gameplay from the demo. So let's get right into it. So the game starts with a little tutorial and I will follow along in the tutorial. Um, so initially the tutorial just gives you some basic information that you can use of UASD and you can zoom in and out. So we all understand that. And basically the game is about building a factory. And um, yeah, you can build uh, various machines that produce uh, products that you can then sell on the market, make money, and then you can use that money to make your factory even bigger. So it continues. And uh, let's go along the tutorial here and learn how to uh, set up the initial production line. So uh, the first thing we can do is build a conveyor line from the main storage. So the main storage is the area down here and we can see on the right side of the screen what the items we have in storage. So uh, we have some basic raw materials, iron ore, coal and silica which we can use uh, to produce some products. So first we need to get them out of the storage. So uh, the tutorial says build a conveyor line above the storage connector which is this. So let's do that and it should be around 8 tiles and you build the conveyor by holding down the left mouse button and then you can, can drag where you want the conveyor line to go. So around 8 tiles, that should be here and then you just release and the conveyor is built. And uh, now you'll also notice that uh, this money went down from 50,000. So it costs a bit every time you build something and the conveyor costs uh, $50 per second. So next step is we need some iron ore on our belt. So we select the connector here and we want the iron ore. So we say connect output and select the conveyor belt. And now we see iron ore on the belt. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it better. And uh, then the next step is we want to build some, uh, some smelters so we can smelt the iron ore into iron bars. So we select the smelter over here, they build smelter. And we build one here for instance. And uh, then we can select it and select iron bars as our production recipe. And uh, now there's a copy function to make it easy to make copies of the smelter with the uh, iron bar recipe set. So we say copy and then we place the more here and hit the escape key. And uh, yeah, so now those built. And now we need to uh, connect the iron ore uh, to the smelter. So here we simply uh, click uh, the conveyor belt and it automatically selects the item on the conveyor belt. So we can now connect output and select the smelter. Now we can see the smelter starts producing. So do the same with the others here. And have some smoke. So the next step, we want to build another conveyor line. And this should go on the, on the right side. Go up here, and um, <clears throat> now we want to connect the output from the smelter. So again, we say connect output. We see the iron bars not being produced. Go out on the conveyor belt. So now we want to make an actual product we can sell on the market. So the easiest product to produce is uh, glass wire and for that we need some foundries. So we select a foundry here and uh, we can build one 
Um, let's build it here. And again, we select the last file, then we can copy the foundry. And we can see we need our conveyor belt to be a little bit longer, that's no problem, just build an extra. And now we can connect iron. But this is not all we need. So we also need some uh, some silica. <clears throat> and fortunately we also have that in storage. So we need a conveyor belt. And yeah, yeah it can get a little bit tricky. As we like it to connect to this one. I move it up here and then I just make an extra segment here. Then we can make the silica. And we got the silica flowing up. And uh, when you're connecting different products, the uh, easier to have them on the belt already. Because if you click here, you can see it automatically selects silica. If I click here, it selects iron bar. So just clicking here I can easily connect the correct product and now we can see that the foundry starts producing so now we want to sell the output last while on the market so first we need to get it back to the main storage so we build a conveyor line here and then we select the Aswell output rail line. And now we see our output product here. And then we also have to connect it to the main storage from here. And once it reaches here, the, the glassware is now added to the main storage. So now we would like to actually sell it to the market and first we have to get it there. So that's why we need the trucks down here. So we have the logistics button and you can see the three trucks here. So now we want to create a route and this route would export the glassware. And we are going to need more iron ore, so we can import iron ore from the mine. And the tutorial doesn't say so, but I will also create an extra route, which also exports as well, but then imports the other product we need, which is silica. We create that route as well. And now we just need to assign some, uh, some trucks. And you'll notice uh, once I assign it, the truck starts loading and drives off to the market. So now it's loading and it's driving off. And we'll assign the other truck immediately. That's doing the same. And you can follow here on the logistics UI when they are uh, going to and from the market. And uh, it takes uh, 20 seconds to drive to the market and 20 seconds to drive back again. So we can see now that they are at the market. So they sold the, the glassware and now they are loading the raw materials and coming back to the factory. And in just a moment we should see the trucks come back. And this is basically the end of the tutorial. And uh, the tutorial now tells you that uh, your first focus should be on unlocking the template technology. <coughs> so if we go in technology here, you can see there's a number of technologies and uh, there will be more in the final game, of course. But the first one that's interesting to unlock is the assembler technology. And uh, this allows you to uh, make more advanced products 
like uh, the next ones will be uh, mechanical parks like kitchen machines and power tools and in order to unlock uh, this technology we first need to reach uh, an achievement you could say we need to buy 2000 consumer goods in one way to the market and let's, let's finish the tutorial here and look at the market so that's also a little explanation of the market here uh, but basically uh, the market uh, has cycles of weeks so there's a demand for each product per week so we can see for the glassware here we have a demand of 1600 and then you can see over here how much we have supplied so far so it's going up now we supplied 88 as the next step of this video i will just choose to skip ahead a bit and uh, show you how the factory looks when you have um, when you have all the uh, the products unlocked in the in the demo and are uh, up producing all the available so let's have a look at that so i will just load one of my save games here and yeah as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on now we have a lot of trucks running and if we look at the market you can see i'm now producing some of all the products available and let's just have a quick look at what you can do so over here we have some of the basic products and then we have some of the intermediate products here so here we have a production of kitchen machines these are the assemblers you can see they need three different inputs to produce kitchen machines we also have uh, power tools over here power tools are a little more complicated than kitchen machines because they uh, need these um, uh, small dc motors in themselves are a little complicated to produce because they need radars and iron rods and um, electrical wire so we have some uh, DC motor production here <clears throat> and this is then combined with some iron gears and plastic use the power tool and once you have uh, produced a certain amount uh, of power tools you unlock electronics technology so we can see here we have the uh, electronics technology there's also heavy conveyors so uh, you can see over here heavy conveyor so the normal conveyor can uh, transport two items per second and the heavy one transports four items per second hmm. and for the um, electronic products one of the first things you have to do is uh, produce uh, circuit boards which are then turned into uh, printed circuit boards so that's the basis of the electronic products and uh, yeah that's a pretty long production line just to make the, the PCB here because you need uh, to use assemblers also to produce electronic components and have uh, extruder machines here for making circuit boards and, and fiber glass for making the circuit boards there's a lot of stuff going on here just to produce the uh, PCBs, which are then going into our two uh, electronics production lines here. So up here we have uh, printer production, and uh, uh, down here it is have uh, flat screen production. So the flat screen production seems a little bit stalled right now because we don't have enough plastic. So it's important that you always keep an eye on your logistics. You can see we're almost out of plastic here, so yeah, make sure you always have plenty of trucks. Really need more plastics here. So yeah, so that's basically it, what you can produce in the, in the demo. So, and uh, yeah, there's still plenty of room over here on the right side, so you can actually your factory even bigger if you want to 
and of course in the final game there will be many more products and it will also be possible to make blueprints yeah so you won't have to build every single machine on its own and use blueprints to build larger chunks and also it will be possible to have more than one factory floor so this is actually just the beginning of your factory once you fill this out you can buy an entire new factory floor and, uh, and then you can transport items between your factory floors to some fancy quantum mechanical uh, teleporter machines so yeah but this is the end of my little gameplay video and uh, if you would like to try the demo yourself it is available on itch.io and there's a download link in the video description below so i hope you try it out and have fun with it and i will see you later